And maybe that means that it's a good time to get out on the green belt, maybe make a new friend, take one with you, and I'm making a new friend here. We're actually joined by Jessica Bennett from the Boise Bully Breed Rescue. Yes. Jessica, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having us. And this is? Lily. Lily. Lovely Lily. Lovely Lily, yes, she is, and she has been such a sweetheart being here. She doesn't mind getting up early with you. Apparently not. So it is uh, Pitbull Awareness Month, is that correct? That That is correct. So explain to me exactly what the, I, I just learned about the Boise Bully Breed. What is the Boise Bully Breed Rescue? The Boise Bully Breed Rescue is a foster agency. We're a, fo we're, we're a rescue organization that deals with um, getting bully breeds out of shelters and into foster homes. Now it's important to note that we do only take um, dogs that are in the shelter. Mm -hmm. We don't take from private people. Mm -hmm. They need to go through the process and then when the dog either runs out of time in the shelter or is extremely kennel stressed and just is not showing well and breaking down, then we take them. Okay. And we put them in foster homes and we you know, try to find the right match for them. Well, and I think it's really interesting you think of the word bully. And that's, that's frightening. And to be honest uh -huh. with you, I was a little scared of medium to large dogs until I actually met some and got to know them. And we were talking earlier that it doesn't depend on, on the dog or the breed. What, what does it really depend on? Their reputation precedes them. Oh, um, well, I'm not sure I understand your question. Well, their reputation of being, you know, we had that um, in the media the le recently with the Nampa Police Department mm -hmm. responding to a call and the dog ha had to be put down. So what, you know, we talk about pit bulls and it's not always positive news. Yeah, there is a trend with that, but I think it's very uh, not so much the breed as what's going on in that household and what's going on with that particular dog. I don't know what really happened with the Nampa situation, so um, it wouldn't really be fair to comment oh, on. Oh, absolutely. But, um, but it, it, well, you can see with Lily and mm -hmm. so many pities and bully uh, mixes that don't display any signs of trouble. So it's the dog, it's the individual dog and not the breed. What's going on in the home, how they're being trained, yes. correct? Right, and if their needs are being met, that's a big thing with um, every dog, regardless of breed. They, they have needs that are, go far beyond just feed and water and a bed. They need to be walked, they need to be trained, and they need to be um, part of a family. Mm -hmm. So if they're chained in the yard or if they're not trained and let um, do whatever they want, then they'll train themselves. So we actually talk about the foster program that Boise Bully Breed Rescue is, and you look for homes to take these dogs in until they find their forever home. So right. how do people find you, find out more about you, and uh, convince them to take, you know, lovable babies like this one in? Yeah, well we have a great website, um, BoiseBullyBreedRescue.com, and uh, a good presence on Facebook, and um, every little thing that happens with every one of these dogs gets updated constantly. So uh, we always need foster homes and we need forever adoptive homes. So um, there's applications right on the website. There's phone numbers to call in the event, um, you know, that you have questions. And uh, yes, call, ask, and uh, uh, become a foster or an adoptive. Absolutely, because they're not bullies after all. That's just what they're called sometimes. Right, That's Lily? The bully You're breeds. not a bully. Well, thank you, Lily and Jessica Bennett, thank for being you. with us from the Boise Bully Breed Rescue. It is Pitbull Awareness Month, and so maybe it's just time for everybody to kind of educate yourself on yeah. what their reputation is and yeah. not be so scared of, of them, provided they have um, good forever homes. Yeah, don't, don't judge a book by its cover. Good call. I yes. like that. Thank you so much.